Hello everyone, I'm Dinosaur, your masked reader today, and you're here to join me to discuss the real story of the big bad wolf and the three little pigs, and it's not what you expect. The story is called The True Story of the Three Little Pigs. Everybody knows the story of the three little pigs, or at least they think they do. But I'll let you into one little secret. Nobody knows the real story, because no one has ever heard my side of the story. I'm the wolf, Alexander T. Wolf. You can call me Al. I don't know how this whole big bad wolf thing got started, but it's all wrong. Maybe it's because of our diet. Hey, it's not my fault wolves like cute little animals and bunnies and sheep and pigs. That's just the way we're born. If cheeseburgers were cute, folks would probably think you were big and bad as well. But like I was saying, the whole big bad wolf thing is all wrong. The real story is about a sneeze and a cup of sugar. This is the real story. Way back in Once Upon a Time, I was making a birthday cake. It was for my dear old granny. I had a terrible sneezing cold and I ran out of sugar. So I went next door to ask if I could borrow a cup of sugar. Now the guy next door was a pig and he wasn't too bright either. He had built his whole house out of straw. Can you believe it? I mean, who in his right mind would make his house out of straw? So, of course, the minute I knocked on the door, I fell right in. I didn't want to just walk into someone else's house. So I called, little pig, little pig, are you in? There was no answer. I was just about to go home with the cup of sugar, but my dear old granny's cake. That's when my nose started to itch. I felt a sneeze coming on. Well, I huffed and I snuffed and I (gasps) sneezed a great sneeze. And you know what? The whole darn straw house fell down. And right in the middle of the pile of straw was the first little pig, dead as a door now. He had been home the whole time. It seemed like a shame to leave a perfectly good ham dinner lying there in the straw, so I ate it all up. Think of it as a big cheeseburger lying there. I was feeling a little better, but I still didn't have my cup of sugar, so I went on to the next house. The guy who lived there was the first little pig's brother. He was a little smarter, but not much. He had built his house of sticks. I rang the doorbell on the stick house. Nobody answered. I called, Mr Pig, Mr Pig, are you in? He yelled back, go away, wolf. You can't come in. I'm shaving the hairs on my chinny chin chin. I had just grabbed the doorknob when I felt another sneeze coming on. I huffed and I snuffed and I tried to cover my mouth, but I sneezed a great sneeze. (gasps) And you're not going to believe it, but this guy's house fell down just like his brother's. When the dust cleared, there was a second little pig, dead as a doornail. Wolf's honour. Now you know food will spoil if you just leave it out in the open. So I did the only thing there was to do. I had dinner again. Think of it as a second helping. I was getting awfully full, but my cold was feeling a little better. And I still didn't have that cup of sugar from my old granny's birthday cake. So I went to the next house. This guy was the first and second little pig's brother. He must have been the brains of the family because he had built his house out of bricks. I knocked on the brick house. No answer. I called, Mr Pig, Mr Pig, are you in? And do you know what that rude little porker answered? 
Get out of here, wolf! Don't bother me again! Talk about impolite! He probably had a whole sack full of sugar. And he wouldn't give me even one little cup for my dear sweet old granny's birthday cake. What a pig! I was just about to go home and maybe make a nice birthday card instead of a cake when I felt my cold coming on. I huffed and I snuffed and I sneezed once again. <gasps> Choo! Then the third little pig yelled, And your old granny can sit on a pin! Now, I'm usually a pretty calm fellow, but when somebody talks about a granny like that, I go a little crazy. When the cops drove up, of course I was trying to break down the pig's door, and the whole time I was huffing and puffing and sneezing and making a real sneeze. The rest, as they say, is history. The news reporters found out about the two pigs I had for dinner. They figured a sick guy going to borrow a cup of sugar didn't sound very exciting. So they jazzed up the story with all of that huff and puff and blow your house down nonsense. And they made me the big bad wolf. That's it. The real story. I was framed. But maybe you could loan me a cup of sugar. Now, I wonder what you think about that story. Do you believe the pig side or do you believe the wolf side? Now, I've got my ideas, but what do you think? <laughs>